Welcome to the Millbrook Railroad, and today um, we're going to do something different. We're going to do a shop project. A friend of mine gave me this drill press, and uh, I've been sitting around for a while, and uh, I pulled a mouse nest out of here. I didn't figure you guys wanted to see something gross like that. I vacuum this out, and let's see. Well, that moves. It's starting to move now. Wasn't moving before, so that's that's a good thing. So I'll vacuum this out and see what we can uh, what we can do. Let's see. The power cord looks to be in good condition. It's not cracked, so that's a good thing. Anytime you get old tools, check for cracked cords. Replace them if necessary. This one didn't need to be replaced. Looks like it's got a a nice switch here. We'll have to see how that works. And uh, yeah, this is spring return for the for the quill, and that may need to be adjusted. Yeah, there's something stopping it. I guess it's a nut or something from a squirrel. <laughs> I've seen stranger things. some WD-40. Not much left in this can. Not much propellant left in the can, I should say. Put it on all the rest, let it soak in. belt slip a little bit for a little while, but that stuff evaporates. I'm going to need to do something with the chuck too. It seems to be frozen. We'll, uh, spray something up in there maybe. I'll at least get the threads to hold it on. That gap right there. Well, this is the wrong, wrong orientation for that. All right, so let's rub it down. I'm not going to get the rest off right now, but at least get all the loose stuff off of it. Now, how do you like that? I'm becoming more like, I don't know, maybe this old Tony? Nah. Right, clean up that mess there. Spin that around. That's already spinning nicer. It's spinning a lot better than it was. Slide this back here. It's also sliding on the table a lot nicer. <laughs> Good reason, too. Now, let's see. Is there any other reason why this shouldn't be moving up and down? There we go. A little persuasion. Looks like I've got to replace that thread. Place a handle or something. Yeah, we'll revisit that later. So what we 
cause it to not move. So I noticed this thing on the front here, full function drill press with powered oscillating spindle. Well, that doesn't sound good for rigidity, so we'll take a look up here in the head where all the belts are and everything. Let's see, engage oscillator. Remove O-ring belt from pulley cover clips. Install O-ring belt on top step of spindle. Pull, pulley and pulley mechanism. So here and here. So I did a bunch of... Uh, Sprayed a bunch of WD-40 on, on this whole mechanism. It was completely stuck. And now it's moving actually quite well. I'm impressed. But the quill isn't moving any better, unfortunately. And I may just have to take this whole thing apart. I want to avoid that if I can. Corn shell just fell out of somewhere. Yeah, I think we're definitely dealing with squirrel damage. I'll bet you this is full of nuts somehow. I don't know how they do it, but you can get nuts in the strangest places. I'm gonna vacuum it out again. Oh yeah. I'm looking in there. That's our problem. Ah, nuts. I think we're down in there. All right, if we take a look down in there, this is looking into the machine. You see that? Yeah, acorns. I have to pull this machine apart because it is stuffed to the gills with acorns. Well, I guess the first thing we do is we take the belt off. Well, what do you know? I got the right size the first time. Or something close. And they're not stuck. That's a big relief. Oh, you have no idea how much of a relief that is. For these things not to be rusted, rusted in place. snap ring right here so if I pull this snap ring off and pull a spindle out this other snap ring looks like I can take the quill off all right I've got my snap ring pliers but they're set for external now if I can only remember how to reverse this thing Okay. Maybe a couple of other things holding this quill in place. Like maybe this. So what I'll do is I'll pop this pointer off. And I will pop these stops off. No need to damage them. 
number one alco adjuster. And as could be expected, nothing moved. I'm gonna have to take this off. That means the spring's gonna unwind and I'll have to retension it. But maybe that'll get us some progress. It's just a simple spring. That can be rewound. secret to it. I've got to take this out. This is a mess. I wonder it wouldn't move. That was just filled with little pieces of acorns and stuff. I think it was squirrels that got up in this. Probably through the tube here and came up in here and dropped their stashes. Nuts and stuff. That rust right there is a problem. Let's see if I can clean that up. Take this out of here. I'll figure out what this thread is and I'll get some new threaded rod. And I'll just get new handles or something. Alrighty. Rust removal time. Actually, I have the perfect thing. It's a great big giant vat of acid. We go, a little scrubbing and she's good as new. I have to soak this chuck. You know this base is handy for something. Stick that right in there. Just let that soak for a while. You know, the thought crossed my mind. A little stick of diamond. Say hello to my little Say hello to my little friend. Now these particular scrubbing bubbles are made for cleaning glass, which means they're perfect for cleaning stuff like this. They're not too harsh. They're not too unharsh either. Well, this is the wrong brush for this. This is a wire brush. I need a nylon brush.
notifications and stuff more. I say that's a lot of scrubbing. They've chewed the wires here for the ground, which is not of much consequence actually. We often have bare ground wires in junction boxes, so this is, while well, ugly, not particularly concerning because it's not chewed through the copper, so it's still good, in my humble opinion. Alright, now I'm going to take this switch out, and I've got a, got a couple of connectors on the end of this here, and on this one here. Put it all back together, I think we'll be good. Alright, so I've cleaned all this out here. There's a lot of nuts and debris in here. I still got a little bit right there. Cleaned all this out with electronic cleaner. So that evaporates really quickly and it doesn't leave residue. So one of the wires came off. I got to put that back on. It's right here. I've got to put a connector on the end of this wire. And then I think we're just about good. I've, I got to pop this switch out so I can. Put the terminals on the on the screws, but yeah, we're almost ready for reassembly. that on there and we'll crimp that down there we go give it a little tug make sure it's on there one more to connector to go that down on there real good. A little tug, it doesn't come off and that's good. Now we'll get the switch back in the circuit here.
There we go. Now I can shove that back in there. Put this outer plate back on. Looks like it came off of a sign or something. Got a handy dandy 14 millimeter wrench. That's on good. A little more good and tight. That's our torque spec. Good and tight. Yeah. Alright, now we're ready to put this back together. And that covers up the that covers up the part of the wire that was chewed. There's a little bit down here. So I'll just cover that up too. It's a tiny bit sloppy, but it's a lot less sloppy than leaving it. So let's hook this up to ground and uh, start reassembling the machine. on really good. And I think that's the only one that we need on there.
Well, it bounces a little bit. A little uneven. I'll have to do a test drill with it to see if it's really true. Now they drill a hole on a piece of plastic. Is that going to reach down there? No, it's not. So we have to bring the table up. About there. Well, that was a little different project. I still have to put this gasket back on. So we'll do that right now. Actually, it's pretty brittle, so I don't think I'm going to put this back on. It'll be fine without it. And it'll be fine without this. We don't need this oscillating, uh, oscillating spindle. No, don't need that. Not at all. So this gets to go away, and uh, the machine ends up lasting longer, I hope, for it. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Share it, subscribe if we earned it. Um, and if you want, you can join us over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Millbrook Railroad. Or uh, you can join us over on Discord. We've got some interesting things going on over there on Discord. So far, just a few of us are, uh, are participating, so room for lots more. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.